Let me take you through our general purpose web scraping tool, the get data from a web page step. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. So on page, you'll see I've got Axiom open. I'm on a product page of Amazon that I want to scrape, and I'm going to add our scraper, get data from a web page step. Now, as soon as you've added that step, it's going to prompt you to use the selector tool to highlight the data you want Axiom to scrape. Yes, it's that simple, just point and click. I'm going to point and click now and show you that I made a selection. If I want to add more selections, I'm going to, I'm going to sort the data into columns and keep adding columns and my data. Worth noting is that you can also select different types of data from text to HTML to links, as you would expect with a scraper. And with each column, you can now set a custom selector. This can be really useful. And we've got a cool tool for that where you can actually type your CSS selectors live and see them be highlighted on the screen. This works really well in conjunction with um, the Chrome Inspector, which you can see I've just opened now, where you can, you can use this Chrome inspe Inspector. It comes with Chrome to look for IDs, look for attributes, just unique selectors on the HTML. It's in fact really useful for that for Amazon because they do vary their selectors so much. Once you're done, you just set your selector. Once you've completed your selection, press complete. We've got more in-depth tutorials on choosing selectors available on our website that drill down into the selector tool in more depth. Okay, let's go on to the next option. Okay, next up is find a pager. Well, that works well for listing pages or pages with load mores, but we're on a product page here we don't have any form of pager there. So we just ignore that. We don't have to action anything. And in a moment, I'll just take you to a listing page where I'll show you that in action. Okay, max results. This is a handy step. So if you know you're only going to, if you're scraping a product page, you can leave the max results to one. If you're doing a listing page, you're going to want to change that to the amount of items you want to scrape in a list or toggle it to get all results. Right. Last up is configure scraper. Now I found this step or well, this these configuration options really useful. They allow you to speed up your scrapes. You do need to experiment a bit. You can over adjust and your scrape becomes too fast. You'll notice when that happens because you'll have little bits of data missing. They haven't loaded onto the page in time. But if you've got a, a quick internet connection and Page loads are really fast on the site you're trying to scrape. You can really adjust these settings down. For example, number of retry attempts when results not found. By and large, when scraping a page and I know the data that I want is there and loaded straight, straight off the bat, I put that down to zero and that really speeds the scraper up. You can also control the wait time between scrolls. You can do a minimum wait time before scrape and this setting allows you to start from a particular spot in a pager on a list, but that will of course be on a listing page of some sort. Last of all, we've got a tick box here, and this is useful if you're only getting the first page of results when you're doing, when you're scraping a listing page. Just try tick it, ticking this, and the page will rescrape after each change. Awesome, I think you'll find those settings really useful, and keep an eye out for New options coming to this step soon. However, before I go, I have completely forgot to show you a little bit about the find the page option. So I'm just going to tab into this listing page where we've got the pagination down here. And what I want to do here with this step is I want to find the pager. Now I can just click and select and press complete. But if you do ever have issues with that, here's a handy little tip. Press custom, use text instead. You can literally type in the text and it will find the button for you. Or not that I not that you need to do previous, but that can be really handy. Press complete. And if you do have a paginated page like this and you and you want to start from page five instead of page one, do remember you've got a setting in configure scraper that will allow you to do that. Okay. That really is it this time. Thank you very much.